to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back fam and crew, creeps and peeps. Man, it feels like it's been like a month, two months since I've done one of these videos. Um, which it probably has, even though you can't tell because it's December 2022 where I am and you guys won't see this till like 2024 maybe, not sure. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick haul video for you of a couple things I, I kind of missed here and there. And a few things I picked up recently. So I mentioned this in one of my last haul videos, some stuff that I found at a vintage shop uh, in Lawrence, Kansas that... I forgot in my truck when I was doing the video. We got this two-tape set of the Deer Hunter, the Michael Camino, Simino, Simino film. We talked about that before. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, it's the widescreen edition two-tape. It's got the foily edge as we've seen before with like the frighteners and some other things. Um, I bought this and like when I got home, I, I I couldn't remember if I actually owned it already or not. I know I have the, the VHS on on tape it's some somewhere. I just don't know if it's a special edition or not. And then also, that was like a dollar or two, I think, in the store. And then this is a box set that I found. It's called Girls on Top, Don Fringe, Tracy Ullman, Jennifer Saunders, Ruby Wax. Uh, it's a show, as it says, the creator is absolutely fabulous. I like British humor a lot. I like Jennifer Saunders. Uh, and since I have the absolutely fabulous box set, I figured I'd get this too, go along with the box sets that I have. So that's that. And then I don't remember if this one made it into the video or not. Uh, this is, I got this at Half Price Books, $1.99, English version of Life is Beautiful, still in the original packaging. Yeah, it's got the Buena Vista watermark down there. I think I was supposed to be part of that haul, uh, Half Price Books haul video, but I just forgot about it. And the next few came from my friend Jonathan, who whenever he's out thrifting, looking for records and things, he keeps his eye open for various films or VHSs for me. Uh, so we picked up so we got one, two, three, four, five, six VHS. Starting off with trimmers. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, this definitely came from Sabres. You can tell by the sticker there. Uh, Spikes, I got trimmers right back over here too. So it is a different edition. So that's good. This one belongs to my baby mama and or my daughter. So it is a different edition of trimmers, so that's cool. Trimmers. And then we have Platoon. Which, this is sort of similar to the one I have already. I have to look. I don't know where it... I think it's put away already. I think I did the video for it already, of Platoon. But the one that I picked up recently, this was like gold foil and kind of embossed. So this one might be... An older version or a newer version around the same exact time, so we'll have to look at that at some point and figure those out. And then another funny one that he picked up this frantic. Because so I told him when he's looking to look for these color tagged Warner Brothers ones, so I'm pretty sure that's why he picked it up. So he got it that, but it's also because of Roma Polanski. But unfortunately, as always, I have a copy down here that I got at. I think that's, that's Savers. No. Yeah, that, that's Savers, and this is City Thrift, or maybe it's Savers too. I forget where he... Oh, no, I think he got the stuff at Goodwill. He got these at Goodwill. Uh, and then, this is a cool one. He got this HBO video version of The Dark Crystal. Uh, I have the... And we've seen it on the channel before in another haul video. I have these essentially the same exact edition, but in the white clamshell of the HBO videos. I like this one, though. It's just kind of simple and clean. I kind of like how it's kind of aged. I think it gives us some character. So that was a cool pickup. Pretty sure all these he got for a buck. And then this one looks like it came from Savers. Special edition, The Exorcist, 25th anniversary. Now, we've seen this video on here a couple times, but I can never remember if. So this is the special edition, 20th anniversary, but this one does not appear to be widescreen. Yeah, I think the, the versions we looked at before may have been widescreen. Maybe we've done one of each. I don't recall. But I, obviously I have this one already, but that's still cool. And then this is one. Another one in the Black Clamshell package from Warner Brothers Special Edition. Or Universal Special Editions. The American Graffiti uh, Special Edition. <coughs> now, it's either it's missing from this. Or it never came with it. But these used to come with uh, CDs on the back. 
like a little kind of die cut CD that had like a song on it. Uh, I have one of these downstairs in, uh, right now that's actually signed by one of the guys in the movie. My brother took it to like some convention years ago, like a car car show or something like that, and to, stole my copy of this and took it to get signed. So I'd always been thinking about getting a second version of it that I could have this on my shelf and he can have his on his shelf. Uh, so that's essentially all the. So that was Half Price Books. This is from a thrift store in Lawrence. This came from my friend Jonathan. Uh, the next stuff isn't VHS related, but it's other things I picked up. So I collect all the stuff of this uh, old uh, this filmmaker, Chris Seaver. Did a lot of shot on video horror stuff. Uh, so this is something he put out on Blu-ray. Saturday Morning Sleepover Volume 2, Nostalgia Blast. It's just a collection of 80s TV shows and commercials and just various things. Um, 80s themed or from the 80s that he puts together and he does like these screenings at his house or something like that so this, he just he does a run of like 25 of these and so this is volume two I, I have volume one and then the low budget pictures was the name of his uh, video company his film company that he had so this is low budget pictures classics volume five ghoulish chronicles from bone jack high and the house on bone jack hill so these are two movies of his that these are the Sort of the last two that were never released on DVD or VHS that he'd, or that he'd, DVD or Blu-ray, that he said he wasn't going to re-release, but they ended up re-releasing him, so that's kind of cool. Uh, behind the scenes stuff, um, interviews and all that with everybody in the, in the stuff, so that's cool. Uh, Bojack Hill I've seen already. This one I'd never seen, so that's cool. This one I'd never seen at all. There's still maybe seven to ten of his things that, that I know about that aren't available anywhere. But maybe someday he'll put them out or I'll find them somehow. Um, and this will be... Yeah, here's one thing we haven't seen on the channel yet. So my friend Jonathan also, at the same time he's picking up all this kind of stuff. I think he said he went to Goodwill. And he spotted a huge lot. A huge collection of laser disc. So he said somebody turned in a bunch of laser discs. And nobody had gone through them yet. So he picked up a good amount for me. So we start off with, see if we can, you can get these in the, in the shot. Let's readjust. So, Alien Nation. I think you said these are like a buck a piece. Now laser discs are something that I've owned a few over the years, but I don't think I own any more. When my video, my video store, video library, the one I used growing up was shutting down. Or when they're making the transition from Laserdisc to DVD. Because they had a huge Laserdisc, I mean huge Laserdisc section, but it was never something I was a part of. But uh, when they were making the transition from Laserdisc to DVD, they sold off a bunch of their Laserdiscs. So I remember I bought like the Professional, Halloween 6, Halloween H2O, and a couple things. I had like, I had, like four or five Laserdiscs. And then as years went by, I collected every single Halloween. So I used to have like three or four different versions of the original Halloween, including the two different Criterion collection ones Halloween's two three four five six and h2o all on laserdisc but I sold those a couple years ago as one big lot so it'd be kind of interesting to, to slowly pick up more laserdisc here and there but I don't see them that often anymore uh, going along with that we have full metal jacket and then we have the almighty Bloodsport. We have Pulp Fiction. And then returning to the archive, we have the professional. I think Wes Craven's New Nightmare was one of the other ones I used to own on Laserdisc. And then ba bam Big Trouble in Little China. And that's an awesome one. And then almost the piece, the piece de resistance, the Crow Laserdisc. I think he said $1.00 each for these so like if you knew me in high school and like you're gonna 
make a list of my top 10 favorite movies. The Crow, Big Trouble Little China, Professional, Pulp Fiction. Those would definitely be on the list. I pull, especially, yeah, the, the last four that I showed you. Big Trouble, Professional, Pulp Fiction, The Crow. Probably add Halloween, Clockwork Orange. And I don't know what else, Reservoir Dogs maybe. I've kind of grown out of my tastes into something else now, but that's an awesome collection. He said there's a bunch of others, that he, but he didn't think that there were ones I'd be interested in. I mean, if they're still there, I'd go and just buy them all just to start collecting laser discs too, especially if they're only a buck. But nevertheless, pretty cool crow. Uh, I, I I put these in the black uh, or in the, the polyurethane sleeves because I've been going through vinyl records. Those are all vinyls. That's full of vinyls. That's full of vinyls. My daughter's been getting into vinyl records and stuff, so I've, I've been archiving all of my vinyl records and been going through looking for that. Um, so yeah, so I've been putting them into these sleeves, and protecting them. Well, yeah, so that's the whole uh, this past couple months. Like I guess I haven't done one of these videos in forever. All of you guys can't really tell, but so maybe we'll continue with laser discs here and there. If I find them just around sporadically and randomly, I'll pick some up. Um, I'm kind of holding off on VHS purchases probably for the next almost a year because I still have about 150, 200 to do. Um, so I don't really need to buy any more right now, but I appreciate you guys always. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.